Hello everyone, welcome to Micro Minute. My name is Marty Jobson and today, under my microscope, I'm going to be showing you some critters that I found infesting my kitchen cabinets just a couple of days ago. So, um, let me show you uh, on my desk cam and we'll get straight into it. So, what happened was... Um, I opened a bag of flour that I'd stored in my cabinet for a little while. And as I opened up the, the folded over flap of paper, I discovered um, some little black flecks there. Can you see them? Little black flecks. Uh, it was white flour. And there's, a, there's usually a little bit of flour tucked in there when you unfold it. And I thought to myself, oh, that's a bit odd. Um, and normally when you see this, you might think, oh, it's just, I don't know, little bits of wheat germ or something like that which it may well be at least right up until the point where you realize that the little brown flecks are moving which is a little bit more disturbing um at which point i got out my microscope and i thought let's have a look now before i show you these under the microscope i should warn you that this may well induce a certain amount of paranoia in people um, that's certainly what happened when I had a look at these and then scrubbed out all the cabinets and ended up throwing away quite a substantial amount of um, the stored flour that we had, which had become infested with these things. Because these things are, let me go to the microscope, what are known as book lice. Um, and I've got a whole load of them in here, as you can see. Uh, and they're just sort of crawling around gently. You focus a little bit. Focus, focus, focus. There's one there. That's a good one. Uh, this one this one here is behaving itself and the lighting's quite good. So I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. There we go. So this is a book louse. Um, otherwise known as Lipocellus bostricophila. Lipocellus bostricophila. I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation. Right, let's keep it in the centre. They don't tend to move around much when they're in the flower, I've discovered. They, they can put on a, a fair old spurt of speed when, um, when you're trying to catch them and put them into a little container, I discovered here. Um, they are tiny little, flightless, they don't even have wings, insects. And what I'm going to try and do is I will get one, get a good get one in a good position and then I'm going to freeze frame it. That's, that's the, let's see if I can find a better one. Um, where are you? Let's go for this one here. Ugh! I've lost him. Where is it? There it is. Right. Oh, he's off. Ugh. Just trying to do too many things at once. Focus. Uh, he's too he's too fast for me. He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Are you gonna focus? There it is. Oh, just gonna zoom out a little bit. <laughs> so these little fellas this one's staying still. Let's zoom in on this one. and have a good close look at it. So these little fellas are tiny. They are about a millimetre across tops. Oh, and I'm using the freeze frame function um, that the guys that made the software suggested I use. The guys who make the software, I use software called Mimo Live, and they told me all about this special freeze frame function. So this is a freeze frame of the image, the live image that's down there, but it allows me to show you. So they're tiny little insects. They're less than a millimetre from uh, head to bottom. They've got these long antennae, uh, six legs, and as you can see, they kind of wiggle them around a little bit. No wings. The wings would normally be attached here, but there's no wings at all. They're completely flightless. But as I say, they can put on a fair burst of speed. And these things uh, eat starch, and tiny particles of grain and stuff like that. And they're, I mean, they're completely harmless. They're not gonna hurt you. Um, they're slightly gross. Uh, I'll come out of freeze frame and we'll go back to having a look at them, kind of creeping around. I mean, I'll grant you they're slightly, I think they're quite sweet really in their own way. 
focus nicely on that. They're kind of cute, I think. But um, you don't really want these um, lurking in your flower because obviously if you then use the flower, you are going to eat them. So, OK, how do you know if you've got these little chaps? Um, what you need to do is open up your bags of flour, um, check the bottom of the flower, if there's any flour at the bottom because they like it there. I find if you open up the whole packet of flour, you quite often find them stuck to the inside of the paper. They seem to not be so keen on... Um, uh, and look, there's one there burrowing. Can you see this one here? It's just burrowing down into the grains um, and root, rootling around inside. Um, they don't seem to be so keen on being sort of um, in the flower itself. They like to be sort of on a surface, so to speak. Um, they're incredibly thin. That much I have discovered. Um, if you... Uh, if you get to see one side on occasionally, they're very, very thin, so they can creep into the smallest thing. And obviously the best way to keep them out of something is to put them in a plastic bag. Now, I think the reason we ended up with these in the house is because we ended up with some dodgy flour. We, in the lockdown, we've had some not so good supplies of flour. And I think that's one of the reasons why we ended up with them coming in. They have a very long life cycle, though. 30 days it takes from egg to uh, egg laying female, which is actually quite a long time. If you consider that a head louse, which is quite a lot bigger, at least three times the size, um, that's only got a, a, a nine or ten day uh, cycle before it starts laying eggs from the female quite well behaved as far as insects that scuttle around. I'll freeze it on that one again, that's quite nice. Um, so, um, book louse they're called. They are not um, flower mites. Sometimes people I've looked, if you look up flower mites, you'll occasionally see pictures of these little fellas, but these are not flower mites. These are um, something completely different. Look, there's, a, there's one that's having a motoring about quite nicely um, so there you go you find them as well in books because they like to eat the glue in books mm, delightful anyway check out your flower that's all I'm going to say um, have a little look and see if you can see any of these little critters and if you can don't just go oh my god disgusting and throw it all away Pull out some sort of hand lens or, or micro, if you've got any sort of microscope or anything like that, or even just a good uh, web camera will allow you to get really in close or even just a phone camera. You can get in really quite close. They're quite fun to have a look at. So there you go. That is the book louse, Lipocellus bostricophila. Um, as always, thanks go out to Zeiss for uh, giving me the microscope so that I can show you these disgusting little creatures. Um, Take care. I'll see you for the next Micro Minute when we will have something, um, well, I don't know what we'll have. Possibly something as gross as this. Bye-bye.